Good morning, everyone. Well, it's Saturday morning here and I am almost about to go live. But if this is your first time stumbling across my channel, thank you so much for picking me <laughs> and sticking around. I hope you stumble and stay. And how do you stumble and stay? You hit that subscribe button, which is down there in that corner, down there. And next to that is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. If you're coming back, thank you so, so much for coming back. Well, a different video for you today, and this is a shout out to Shay, a friend, friend creator of mine on YouTube. I'm going to link her details below. She has her own channel called Crafting with Shay. Now, I had for the longest time myself wanted to do a tour of our uh, Aussie crafting stores, if you will, and I've gone to two of them. The first one being Kmart and the second one being Spotlight. And I went um, because I was on the hunt for specific things and I've just broken my nail. Ugh. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Raw and organic, let's just keep rolling. I went there because I was on the hunt for some specific items. But I also wanted to highlight, uh, because I did watch Shay's video and I was gobsmacked at the prices that US people get to enjoy. You've no idea, you've no idea of the prices that we get pummeled with, pummeled with. And I'm forever the bargain hunter, so you know, I've got to do what I've got to do to get through. <laughs> uh, but I, I've, I've gone through Kmart on the hunt for some specific items. Uh, that was during the day. And then uh, after work, I went to Spotlight because yesterday was the first day that we were released from our homes, from being in a lockdown. And so uh, I thought if I go at night and they were open till 10 o'clock last night, not that I stayed till 10 o'clock, calm down, calm down. <laughs> uh, and I kind of will take you through uh, the store, more so spotlight than anything else, and show you, um, you know, what our stores are like now spotlight has kind of got a mishmash of a lot of different things and when i watch the video back which is the first time i've ever done an intro after a video it is it's very much the very very first time so when i watched it back i'm actually able to critique it a little bit and prepare you for what's coming but i take you through you know um all the different areas of our, our spotlight stores and this is for our aussie friends as well you know if you don't uh, live near one of you've never been inside one this is uh this is my local one and i can show you what we have and uh did i find what i was looking for that's the question that's the question it was a mammoth task now i'm going to apologize in advance i didn't realize uh until afterwards just how quick i was kind of you know running around with that camera so if you're one to get you know a little bit dizzy or whatever else you know put your camera back <laughs> and maybe take it uh, a little bit at a time but otherwise enjoy my whirlwind walk around the stores as i try and find uh, the ultimate items that i'm looking for now these items are going to be unboxed in later um videos uh one of them is going to be a project that i'm going to be doing and the other is unboxings of the things that you know that i'm on the hunt for so i'm going to leave it there i'm going to flip you know um no i'm not flipping the camera around today no i'm just going to upload the footage that i took <laughs> so i hope you enjoy this one uh if you've got any comments or questions or concerns or a bee in your bonnet about something let me know let me know how you feel what your thoughts are and uh enjoy so thank you so much and i will see you soon bye guys ah it's not going off the off button it's not going off <laughs> i'll see you soon okay guys i hope you can hear me we're in kmart so i'm heading towards a crafting section or the storage section to see what we have but I suppose for my international buddies this would be I don't know what the equivalent of your Walmart <laughs> I don't know you guys tell me uh, if you're getting dizzy I'm sorry but I'm doing this on my lunch break from work so uh, there's clothing shoes down there uh, cushions and pillows and all this sort of good stuff which I always have a look at because sometimes you can be innovative 
and use these sorts of things for our diamond painting. For example, these are the trays or the big ones that I've already scored from a different Kmart that were on clearance. Uh, they don't have them anymore. Wow, looks like I scored big time. Big time, big time. But I had run Kmart to inquire about some specific containers. So let's see if what she was telling me on the phone is accurate. So we got stationery. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. Here we go. Ah, bingo. Yes, this is what I want. No, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Perfect. Perfect. Now, how many do I want? Is the question. Are these just as tall? They are. And these come with a handle. And they're the same size. What to do, what to do. Would I want them with that? Or do I want them with the clips? scan them I think okay let's go find a price scanner oh we know what they are but no I'm not going to get them from here let's go find a price scannery thing mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, never one nearby when you want one. These are pretty cool. I don't think they'll be tall enough for what I need. And nor do they come out. But that's like that art dots thing, isn't it guys? Look familiar? For those of you that have seen them. Now let's find a scanner. We've got photography stuff been contemplating these for long-term storage. Oh, oh. Yes. oh, you just went flying everywhere. Long-term storage. Oh, and they're 10 bucks for 16. I'm not going to hold too much though. This was the other one I was thinking. So in this one, I would potentially put more than one DMC in here. That would hold quite a few baggies of DMCs. But that's a lot of room. Um, you have to have a big craft area for something like that. Which I don't have. Okay. Let's pop you back there. I got distracted, see? <laughs> Long-term storage, guys. That's what we're looking to do. Uh, got washi tape here too. This glitter one hasn't been too bad. No, I've used this one. I actually don't mind that one. But I've got enough, so I don't need any more at the moment. 
I hope you can hear me. Um, That would be good if you're working out of baggies. You see something that could be used, yell out. <laughs> Long term storage. Alright, where's my price, Judy? My price checker thing in the jiggy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's only a big sign. Can't see. price check thing. I'll come for a come for a ride with me guys. Mm -mm -mm. Price check, price check, price check. Where are you? Hang on, buddy. I've got men's clothing. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got to get me some beans. Where did you get the most price check thing? The price check point? Uh, the closest one is from here, might be in lingerie or just there in fishing, depending on which way you're heading. I was in entertainment. Okay, yeah, just here in lingerie. Okay, so, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. We have assistance. <laughs> right past the socks, she says. <sighs> right past the socks. Gosh, I have to do a whole lap of the store just to get a price on something. And if this thing doesn't work, watch me lose it now. Okay. Watch, it's not going to work. Yeah, I knew it. Just my luck. It's not working. Not very user friendly, is it? Nope, not working. All right, back to square one. Let's go get. <sighs> Let's go get what we're gonna get, what we came here for. I actually might not tell you what I'm gonna put in my trolley. Oh, do we need some undies? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we're in the intimate section, some boulder holders. <laughs> oh dear, inappropriate, Grace, inappropriate. All right, so let's just have a quick skedaddle around here. Is there anything else that could be used? Otherwise, I am going to go put in my trolley some goodies and you will see what I've decided in the unboxing. So thanks for joining me guys, and I will talk to you soon, bye. Okay guys, it is around six o'clock at night and I am at our local Spotlight store. And as you probably would have heard from the intro, oh, exit, see, social distancing. <laughs> as you would have heard from the intro, uh, this is a shout out to Shay Shay, who 
did a very recent um, tour of her craft store. Now we have to check in, so I'm gonna have to turn the phone off. One sec. Okay, all checked in and let's go in. Hi, good, thank you. All right, so this is what one of our major craft stores looks like. And there's always bargain bins and things to be had. This is the first day that we've come out of lockdown. So spotlight for those that are overseas or those that are in remote areas of Australia that have never been inside a spotlight. Um, all sorts of things. So we've got, what's this, haberdashery? Is that haberdashery? I don't know. Is that haberdashery? I don't know. Linen, blankets and stuff. Guys, this is what I was super excited about. Look what Spotlight have got in. Who is a fan of Anne Stokes? Do you remember the unboxing that I did of the um, Anne Stokes painting that was pre-framed? I was of this chicky babe here, but in a different orientation. But these are all Duna covers or quilt covers or whatever you call them overseas. And they've got pillowcases, they've got frames. How awesome is that? So these are all our blankets and pillows and all that sort of stuff. I'm, I should go really slow. Let's take you around here. Oh, storage, storage, storage. You know I'm mad for storage. What have we got here? $43, I don't think so. Bargains galore. How do you figure that to be a bargain? Nope. Oh, goodness. No, we're not doing $43. Oh. So there's a balloon party section here. Let's take you through. Give you some idea of prices for those that are overseas. $5. This is Australian. Well, obviously, Aussie dollars, right? <coughs> I remember Shay talking about the red stickers. We get orange stickers. Oh, or, or hers red. I can't remember. So, ooh, 50 cents each. Oh, man, if I was into my scrapbooking, I'd be going mad for these. I might pick some up anyway on the way out. These are great to wrap presents up with. <gasps> oh, if only I was scrapbooking again. You know what I used to do when I used to come into Spotlight? I used to see stuff like this and I'd go to the manager, right, I'm going to take the whole box, but you got to give me a good deal. <laughs> And I used to get some really good bargains. My scrapbooking haul, $3. What do you get? No, no, not good enough. So here we've got, I think Shay, you turn, you, you had a mermaid one. Um, and it was a onesie. So party supplies. I'm not throwing any parties. Um, a cake baking. Ooh, fairy floss. I wouldn't mind some fairy floss. I didn't know they sold lollies. Maybe to make up lolly bags. 50% off pans. Yeah, nah. Oh, I could... No. Gracie, move along. Move along, move along. And all the fondants and stuff here. This is the sort of pricing we pay for that sort of stuff. I don't know. Who's a... Who's a Here's a baker. Wait, wait till, uh, wait till you see the prices. We cry here. This is something I'm truly wanting. If this tilts up to 45, but does it go flat? Excuse me? Yes. Hi, can you tell me, does this tilt like a flat table? Or, um, no, or is it, it sits up a bit. Always? Always. Okay. I don't think it's adjustable. Okay. Oh no, sorry, four levels of stability, so it does adjust. Yeah, but to the flat thing is the question. I'm not 100% sure. I've never seen one opened. Mm. Um, probably ask one of the girls at the craft counter. They probably know more than I do because I work on that end. Okay, cool. All right, and 27th of June. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hmm, what do you think, guys? At 150. This is what I'd be looking at. It comes with a stool too. I mean, I'd pick 
give the stool away. But this is what I'm thinking for Josephine Wall. I think it would work. Uh -huh. I'd have to get the offspring to um uh, to put it together. Well, maybe I can put it together. So we've got cards and party, party, party. I'm going to scooch really quickly through here because I want to take you to the craft area. Um, oh, dragony stuff. All oh, the costumes are in there. Oh, now's a good time to pick up all these stuff. Now, if I had girls, I'd probably pick them up, but no, I don't. <laughs> Um, what do we got here? Jigsaw rolls. And jigsaw puzzles, sorry. I was just reading something there. What's this? More costumes and wigs. Pencils and crayons and all that jazz. Crayola. Forty percent off canvases. There's all oh, there's storage ideas in there, but probably not for us. When I say, oh, ooh, mama, hundred and fifty bucks for that. These are $50. Still, nope. You charge. Do you remember how much we saw these for in Kmart earlier? Now, this is... Gee, they're... Um... Oh, there's my stringy bits. I'm sure. Isn't that thread chip? Is that... No, maybe... No, must be something new. But I pretty much got all of those diamond dots. I've got to unbox them. I've got to show you guys. What are these thread chip things? It's interesting, isn't it? Must be something either new or getting phased out. Oh, I've been tempted to get one of these. Tina, is this what you do? Your miniature things? Oh, I talk to you guys as if I assume that you're watching. But just in case, Kino, is this what you do? These things? This is how much we pay for them. <sighs> All right. So I actually came because I wanted to get some cardstock or board at least. And I need a really thick GSM. But I was literally crying watching... Um, watching Shay's video because I was looking at the prices. This is what we pay for scrapbooking paper here. And if you knew how much I've got tucked away of scrapbooking paper, you would absolutely. I have probably twice as much as what you see along here. That uh, oh, is from my scrapbooking days. Uh, oh, only 10. Hang on. Oh, are, they're, are they envelopes? I can't tell what they are. Yeah, they're, no, it says cardstock, 10 packs. There's only 10 in there. I'm not paying six bucks for 10. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Uh, but we have come for, so, can you see the prices? This is what we pay. Now this is what, Remember those pads that you were looking at, Shay? How you were saying they were like reduced down to three, four dollars? 
That's how much we pay. Yes, ma'am. Those little pads that you saw that I've got hundreds of. And oh, when I say hundreds, I've got a gazillion of them from my scrapbooking days. That's how much we pay. Regular price. Sometimes we'll get them discounted. I'm trying to look for, um, because I'm not particularly fussed with colour, so I'm just looking for something cheap and cheery. Again, okay, so we've got 25%, but look how much their regular price is. Um, Actually, oh, okay. Is this cardstock though? Three dollars. Here we go. Bargain. This is where we go. Bargain. A dollar. Oh, that's their cards though. No, that's not going to do. But for a dollar, um. Still not quite. I need a high GSM. Let's see what we've got up here. For those of you that keep your spare drills in the... Well, that, they're scrapbooking pockets. They're not exactly for the diamonds. 176 GSM. No. Washi tape. This is how much we pay for washi tape. This is how much we pay for washi tape. $23. Yep. $23 for these ones. Darice down to $8. But if you want the pretty, pretty ones, $23, guys. Yeah. Let's see what there is on this side for cardstock. These are paper pads, so $17.33. They're pretty. Don't get me wrong, look, I can get lost with paper. I, uh, and Kaiser Craft, oh my gosh. This is a nice Aussie one. I saw Sydney, yeah. That's a grouse one. Oh. Oh, Aboriginal art and that one down there. How much are these? Forty dollars. Card stock. Come on, I just need some. But that's it. Mm. Oh. Oh. And then our papers are down to. You know, whatever. All right. Well, I'm not having much luck. I'm not having much luck. Let's see what else is around the corner. Anything here? Um, glitter. What are these? Squishy stickers. Ew. What's that? Is that a poo? What's a poo? <laughs> <coughs> oh, there you go, Christopher. That's for you. How cute. Um... What do we got down this aisle? We've got our double-sided tapes. Gosh, this is all bringing back such fond memories. Markers. And highlighters. Oh, these are nice. I like these. 
very, very nice. Don't need them, but they're nice. Storage box. Duct tape. I wonder if that would be a great alternative to washi tape. Has anyone tried that? Hmm. Storage box. Now I've got storage boxes. Don't require them. Oh. This would be the place now to get that E3000 glue, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure that... Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm getting. Um, there's glitter glue. There's like a gazillion glues here, guys. Which one am I going to get? Projects. Da, da, da. Tacky glue, fabric, mod podge, mod podge. Oh, there's more over here. Craft glue. Acid free glue, PVA glue. I betcha. It's not. No, that teddy bear was um, plastic, so it's got to be plastic. Ooh! I remember that! <laughs> I didn't know we had it here in Australia. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Of course, there's E6000, but I'm sure it said E3000. Oh, here we go. Some more numbers. No, E6000. And it's going to cost me 22 bucks. Jeez Louise. What's the difference between 3,000 and 6,000? And if one of you smarties out there says the difference is 3,000, I swear I will lose it. Um, how long am I gonna take to find this glue? I don't, I don't think we, we've got the E3,000, whatever it is. They've got every other number. Freylock Fabric Fuse Extreme Tack. Do we want to go with extreme tack? 22 bucks. Jeez. Rip a girl off. Actually, you know what? It'd be good to see if we've got those, um, what's a two, oh, you know what I need? Actually, whilst we're here, boom, sister, I need something. I need something that it dispenses beautifully for the mat. Now that I'm here, let's have a look see. Let's have a look see. Do you reckon this one? Crafter's choice. Bonds fabric, paper, leather, plastics, glass, dries clear. Well, I want it to dry clear. What's the difference between craft glue and tacky craft glue? Oh, for oil crafts. No, we don't want that. Oh, gemstone glue. What's this? Washable glue, plastic, glass beads, rhinestones, pearls, mirrors. Maybe that'll do it. What if I get this one for the bear and this one, this one here, this one, uh -huh, I'll get for my map. Oh, quick dry adhesive. I've only got one hand, so let's see what this one's about. Quick drying machine washable, a strong bond that lasts a lifetime. Maybe we'll try this one. Or do we, no, we'll stick with this. Yeah, we'll stick with these. All right, so we've got the glue. What's this? Sizzix? Yes. I, I've got one of them, a big shot, 
and I've got the dies to cut everything out. Oh, my, my heart, my heart. I bet you I'm not going to walk out of here with what I wanted to come with, to come and get. Ah, oh, shout out to Mrs. Coffee. Here we go. This is our cricket range. Um, I don't know what any of it is, but I know Mrs. C. She uses all this stuff. Cricket, 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 cricket. Never got myself a cricket. Never got quite that far. Mm. Oh, that looks like an interesting craft, doesn't it? Look at that. Tissue paper. I remember doing those sorts of things in high school. Oh, no, what am I saying high school? In primary school. Shot box. What is that? Photo reel background pack. Oh, that's to make... um. So these, you put them in like this to make a background. One sec, guys. All right, I have to hurry it up because the offspring have called. But craft letters. Ah, oh, oy vey. If only you knew how many of these I've done. Yeah, I have so done so many of these. One day when I get my own craft room again, I'm going to put all these up again and you put paper on them and you make them really pretty. Um, storage, storage, storage. Nope, inappropriate, inappropriate. $40, get out of town. Remember we saw that in um, Kmart this morning? Look at that, same thing, 30 bucks. Shut the front door. So they got all the fake flowers and you would think that in a beading section oh we must have missed this is the beading section but there is also the storage which i must have skipped right past that one it's normally on the ends somewhere along here, unless it's one up. We've changed things around. All your yarns and wools and oh, here we go. Oh, cute, look. This is how much we pay for these things. I wanted to get a, a long stitch one. In, when I came looking for a cross stitch, but yes guys, I haven't done it yet. But when I came looking for a cross stitch one, that would be an awesome one. But I'm not paying a hundred bucks. I think I vaguely remember doing long stitch um, as part of my classes in high school. And look, all the stringy bits. I know what they're called. Yes, they're the threads, the yarns, the, the cottons, whatever they're called. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I see the 28 count, the 32. Oh, I see. Okay, now it makes sense. So that's when you're doing it blank. And let me introduce you to the extent of our diamond painting section in our craft store. You ready? This is it. This is all we get. Sucks, huh? It totally, totally sucks. And these are our prices. And if you know these paintings, you'll know the sizes. So I'm not going to go through them. But that's it. Got the frozen one there for $110. But that's all they carry. We are so deprived. Well, if I knew how to make a beanie, I'd make a beanie. I was going to buy one today. Ooh, Harry Potter. Make me. Well, yeah, maybe. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Cute. Oh, 
cave koala. No. Tumble toad. I have no idea what they are, but they look damn cute. What are they? Oh, you gotta knit them. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, your yarns. Oh, your sewing ribbons. I've got lots of sales on. I mean, I'll have to come back and show you the rest of the store. But guys, it just goes on and on. That is all, what do you call it? Material and cloth over there in that corner is um curtains and whatever but i have to cut this short and see if they've got what bargains below 80 bucks Jeez. um i'll have to come back and do another video and do the other half of the store that's over there because i need to find some card stock now, um, and I wanted to see the storage. I missed. Oh, look at that unicorn. Seventeen dollars. But these are papers. I need cardstock. Hmm. All right. I don't want to put these in my pocket or anywhere because I'm going to get accused of stealing. And I'm holding these in my hand, and it just won't be cool. So. Um, this is, I'm going to need two 10 GSM, pack out of 20. Oy vey. Oh, hang on. Uh, see, that's still quite, see, wine. That's down to 50 cents but it's too dark for what I need. Oh, hang on, look, there's more 50 cent ones down here. Maybe I just get a whole range of the 50 cent ones. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, actually, look, there's a whole bunch down there. Oops. Um. That might do it, actually. Okay. Oh, these are only teeny. Oh, just look. Smarties. How big are these ones? Oh, that's better. So there's red. I'll get a pink. I'll get a few. Oh. I'm trying to hold you guys. Oh. And we'll get some greens. Come on. <coughs> Pardon me. And we'll get some blues. We're going to go basically two of each of these. Come on. Come up. Oh. Oh, it's blue again. Okay. I've already got a green. Oof. Oh. Um. Right, let me just put these down here. Oof. You know how hard this is. Let's get some wine. I don't think I'm going to need some after this. Uh, wine. Hang on, guys. I should have gotten a basket. And I switched you off. So, what's this one? Ooh. Single strip storage box. So, this is like your craftably. Interesting. What if I get a couple of these, guys? How many do you get? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So nine. So that's fourteen. So if I want, yeah, but then what am I asked for? Mm. Look, you know what? I'll get one just to show you. Okay, just to show you because I love you. How's that? Oh, and everything's falling. Ugh. Everything's falling out of my hand. This is not coordinating well. I'll get one just to show you. Bead storage bags. Okay. Hang on. It's up there. So, and I've got something under my arm. It's all just happening here. I'm going to put oh, my scarf's going there. I'll put them up there a minute. How many do you get though? A hundred for four fifty. All right, we'll get a couple of them. Um, and we're in that completely wrong section here, and we're going to get one more thing. Oh, everything's falling again. Oh. All right. Here we go. I just want some textures. Cheap and cheerful textures. And you're going to see what I'm going to do with all this good stuff. $8. That'll do it. Oh, sugar. Of course, the glue has to drop. The glue's dropped, guys. Oof. Uh, where did I see them? These will do. Yep, that'll do. That will do, little poo. All right, I'm going to switch the camera off. I'm going to see what else I'm going to buy and keep the rest as a surprise. Okay, catch you around, guys. I hope you've enjoyed part one. All right, I'm going to take you on a quick tour around here to see what else we have in our spotlight here. I love these colours. Oh, I like that too. <sighs> so, what do you call this? Homewares? Um, home decoration. There we go. We're going to go with home decoration. Um... Like, this store just goes on forever and ever, yeah? Right. Hey, you want, a, you want an air fryer? A slow cooker? We have everything here in our local spotlight. What is that? I almost thought that was a barbecue, but no, it's a planter box. We have our fake flowers, candles. This is where I get frames. Ooh, 40% off. See? Damn, when is this end? 27th of June. Okay. I might have to come up and stop up on some of my friends. So these are the prices we pay for our frames. I hope I haven't been going around too quick. I'm so sorry if I have. Um, all the fake plants. Mm, it's a jungle out there. <laughs> um, pot plant, uh, not pot plants, pots for the pot plants. Nope. Oh dear. And here we've got curtains and rugs and all that good stuff. And this is the other end here. Oh, bit of gypsy gypsy happening here. Oh, I like the oriental one though. I like the, the red and the, that one. That's nice. Who's gonna pay? 140 bucks for one of these honestly nope 
I'm out. All our throws. Oh, a doorstop. Not that I need one, no. Oh, she's big. <laughs> Don't say a word. Someone was just looking at me and I'm running down the other aisle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. So here we've got the homewares and the cookwares. Like, you know, baking. I'm not doing it much justice, but you know, you get the idea, right? I'd actually thought at one stage how this would work. Sitting like that with your jars, you know, on an angle. I often thought how, I wonder how that would work. So that, you know, mm, no. In my mind it worked. But that's as far as it got. Storage, storage, storage for your kitchen. Oh, here we go. The air fryer again. Air fryer, anyone? Can I interest you in a toaster? Would I make a good salesperson? <laughs> and, of course, all your plastic. People call this Tupperware, but no, it is not Tupperware. Trust me, I know Tupperware. Believe me, I know Tupperware. I sold it for 15 years. So, um, this is not Tupperware. It is plastic containers for storage, but it is not Tupperware. Uh, what are we got here? I almost thought these were socks, but no, they're tea towels. Um, and then we come into the last section. They're pretty. Pretty, pretty. And we got uh, cook, uh, not cookware. What do you call this stuff? What do you call it? Like tableware, tableware. Your, your plates and your this and your um, plates and um, napery. Oh, there you go, Gracie. You know your stuff, it's called napery. you funny how they put the orange stickers on stuff that i just don't want or need let's see if there's any bargains here i don't need any placemats don't need any glasses don't need any cups nope can i zoom you out or is it there you go i'll give you a better idea If I ever find any Australasia stuff, I always like to sort of, I don't know why, put it aside. But I think I'm done, guys. I need to go home. Definitely need to go home. And I'm done. So this is Spotlight. And now, of course, you know, is the bit where the temptation for all the little kitties when you're lining up and they're scratching at your ankles. Mom, can I have one of these? Mom, mom, mom. And then, you know, all the compulsive buyers that think, oh, just for a dollar, I'll buy that. This is where all the cheap and nasty stuff is. Oh, beanies. See, I'm, I'm a victim of it as well. I like this. Rose gold. That's a bit too loud. These would be good for when I'm on the train. Mmm. I've always wanted a pair. All right. Let's go and pay. And then, of course, we've got all of these pre-framed things up here. Okay, guys. I'm signing off. And I guess you're going to see what I've got purchased from here in up and coming videos. So thank you so much and hold that thought.
Okay, uh, I think I'm about to get called up. Let's just see, let's just give you one last. This is where we've been. Massive, massive, massive store. Okay, here we go. Bye guys.